heart is sad. I just dropped my baby off two hours ago and I already miss him. Neva and I are celebrating our one year anniversary. One year. So we're going on wow. vacation. I can't believe it's been a year. Can you? It's felt like 10. It's been a long year. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. It's not been a long year. We're about two miles away from the place we're going to be staying. We're going to be staying in a tiny house next to a yes. pond, kind of out in the middle of the trees. We're pretty close to, is it the Wisconsin. Mississippi River? Wisconsin border? Yeah, we're not far from Wisconsin. Wisconsin. Yeah. This is our very first vacation solos. Like no one else but us. So I'm really looking forward to this. We've never really been on a vacation like this before, ever. And it's gonna be doing stuff that like we both really like, which is just kind of like enjoying the outdoors. Like we're gonna see if we quiet. actually get along when we're by ourselves, because this never happens. We are by ourselves. <laughs> we live together. What are you talking about? We're missing little Uds. Oh. <laughs> we're almost there. Why am I so excited? Are you excited for our first vacation? <laughs> the first thing we're gonna do when we get there is jump in the water. This is so cool, cool. <gasps> I'm already having fun. We're the waterfront one, so I think oh, this we're is- Oh, waterfront? Yeah. Oh, wow, they have a wind turbine. Can we climb that? Is, There's that, a it? is that the tiny house? Which one is it? I think it's that one. Let's go to this one. But I don't think it's that one. Here, let me look up. I gotta pull up the listing. We're gonna try this again. We think we went to the wrong one. There's a fork in the road. You're always supposed to go right. Well, this looks scary. Does that look like that? This looks like it. Yeah. Okay. Is it open? Oh, wait, there's the pond. There's a water fountain. And then they put that shed over there. We can use anything in it. Oh, look, there's a duck. Look at it. There's even a little garden we can stroll through. I'm going to hold hands to the garden. <laughs> Man, this is so cute. I love it. Thank you, baby. I like how there's no TV in here. That's actually really nice. There's no TV. You just get to go look right outside into the pond. Look at that. That is awesome. We got Marvin the duck. Are we going to go swimming? Are we swimming today? We can. Okay. Let's go look upstairs. Look at her tiny little kitchen. It's so clean in here too. We gotta make sure we clean it up, okay? I feel like we are in a camper that is on the ground. I know, wow. There's room in this fridge for all of our groceries. <laughs> oh wow, it's a tiny bathroom. Babe, the short toilet. This is what you wanted. I don't like short toilets. I know, just kidding. Can you stand up in that shower all the way without hitting your head? I sure, oh, it's elevated. <laughs> 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 are we sleeping over there or are we gonna sleep in here or are we gonna sleep hey, up there we can sleep in them all but then we have to clean them all so just for reference on how wide the stairway is this is where we can watch our movies and then we'll go to bed oh yeah we can watch our movies up here yeah because then we can like combine this and then this can be our movie Area. This is really cool, actually. I like this upstairs. I like lofts. Lofts are fun. And lofts, like, in, in a house cabin, I would definitely want a loft. Like, that is so cool to me. Then when you wake up in the morning and then you could look down, you just hear the bacon sizzling in the morning as your mom and grandma are making it. I'm so happy, babe. Okay, let's go get all the groceries and get in the fridge. And then let's just start our vacation. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Ceiling's okay. Cool, you got everything unpacked already? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I got everything unpacked. We got unpacked. the magic unpacker here. <laughs> the magic unpacker. <laughs> I can't wait to get into this water, Cole. Cole, we get to explore all of this. Look at all the fishes. We can go fishing. You know if we can go fishing here, they have fishing poles yeah. for us. What are we gonna name that duck? He's just swimming over there. We're going Pablo. Okay, Pablo. That's the natural spring right there. We should get our shampoo out here and then we can just take showers out here. Uh, oh, wow. That was nice. Oh, they have a giant paddleboard. Yay, like that's so exciting. Wait, what does the sign say? Airbnb guests, thanks for not using the stand up paddleboard. Oh. Let's do it together, ready? Go. <laughs> <laughs> that is not your hand. Hey, Pablo's coming to visit us. I know, hey, it's bud. cute. Hey, buddy. How does it feel in between your toes? Does it feel like you're at a beach? It feels good. 
What do you think, Pablo? We found one spot with some moving water up there. We saw some trout. I, I believe there are trout in there. That's the only area I've seen big fish in. And so I'm excited to catch one of those. One, two, three. Jump! Oh. <laughs> this will be fun to explore that way. Oh yeah. See what's back there. I have no idea where we're going now. Ow, ow, no, I gotta build stronger feet. Ah. Where do we go, Pablo? There's a fish coming right towards me, Cole. What do we do? <laughs> How was it? It feels bad, but these fish get a lot too close for comfort. Just got done swimming around the entire pond. There's a bunch of birds that are flying through here and they keep dive bombing fish that are coming up to the top. It's kind of cool to see. How come you're not out of breath like I am? You know when you were in school and you were rushing to a class? Yes, and you, were and you had to pretend. <laughs> <laughs> you pretend that you were fine? Yes! I'm not pretending. <laughs> <laughs> what do we got here? This one looks kind of rat nested. Pink and blue. All right, we're gonna rig these bad boys up. We got some little red squigglies. We got some yellow squigglies. We're gonna do a, a red on the red pole and the yellow on the blue pole. Where's my paddle? <laughs> got your paddle. <laughs> Kayaks are so so small you can fly in them. I'm gonna lower my bait into the water so I'm I'm putting my trolling motor on. Look, one of the fish has a cold water. What? <laughs> I'm going up. Oh. oh no. <laughs> mm. I got excited. I just want them to take my bopper and start going all the way over there. <laughs> Pull you around the pond. Yeah. You see all of them? You see? Did you see it? Yeah. Are they doing that to yours? Oh, I almost had one. Hey, they're coming at my butt now. <laughs> Back off. See, the trick to catching these fish is you don't want to use bait. You just throw in a hook. They're too small to yeah, swallow. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I, I, okay, I touched the fish. All right, little guy. There you go. Look at all those birds just swooping down trying to get fish. Now to get some extra hard on here. This sounds good. How do you make them? Some bacon wrapped jalapenos. These look kind of scary on the edges, but the middle looks great. <laughs> it's sweet potato fries. And then I'm making salsa too. What are you making? I'm grilling that steak from right here. And see it out there on the fire. Cooking these bad boys over the fire. We got some round steaks. We ran out of ribeyes, ran out of T-bones, we ran out of sirloins. <laughs> then we got, what'd you make here? Salsa. We've been throwing that on top of the steak. That's actually pretty stinking good. We got some bacon wrapped jalapeno poppers in the oven. Mm. Yeah. Good morning. It's beautiful right now. Oh, the weather seems like it's gonna be good. It's not gonna be that hot today. Like I thought it was gonna be over a hundred. Well, we're also in Northern Iowa. It's we're just, like almost look, in Canada. The forecast? No, we're not almost in Canada. And Canada is basically <laughs> almost the North Pole. So we're technically almost the North Pole. Pole. Magellan himself would no. be happy with the progress we've made and how close we are to the North Pole. We're not even that far from our house. <laughs> Watch it, buddy. I see you stalking us. Hey, but why is the door open? Why is the window above the sink open? Why is the fan on there? And why is the fan on in the bathroom? Because apparently I don't know how to use a microwave. I thought five minutes was good. For one little hash brown, five minutes in that thing. <laughs> you could have heated that thing up in like 30 seconds. No, babe, look how frozen they were. They're so frozen, I can't even get it apart. But they're already cooked. You just literally got to warm it up. So this is what it looks like when Cole cooks. <laughs> this is what it looks like when Nerva cooks. Does it scare you to know you're going to be on a kayak with me for five miles? Look how pretty. Yeah. Wow. Hello. <laughs> Hold. Get my face ready. <laughs> you said ready. I said ready. Like as in you're ready. Can you, okay. Yeah, you said what? ready and then close everything up. <laughs> and then as okay, soon wait. as ready, you open everything up again. Okay, hold on. One, two. You know, something I didn't even consider is what happens if you like end up having to go to the bathroom. You're in the water. I don't want to go to the bathroom in the water. That water actually looks clean. I don't want to mess it up what do you think every animal that lives out in the wild does yeah you're right <laughs> but i'm not an animal who's gonna be the first one in the water so far it's looking like me <laughs> okay we're good golly look at that that's beautiful well 
already wanted to take his first break and we've only been out here for a minute. Oh, we've gone about 150 <laughs> yards. And he's like, let's take a break over by this rock formation. So we're taking a break. <laughs> Whee! Oh, there was rocks right there. <laughs> hey, don't turn that way. You gotta go this way. <laughs> Whee! Oh, this is a lot nicer in a kayak than a tube because when you hit rocks, you don't wreck your rectum on the rock. Stick to the right. All right, hang to the right. Looks like we got some shallow water there on the left. Ooh. Oh, that was a big one. Look at all the birds' nests on that. Or bats. Those might be bat caves. This is the coolest spot we've been in so far. You need a bar? I'm okay. Thank you. Port side, port side, go starboard. Oh no, there's a big rock. Oh god, I wasn't in a tube for that one. What I like about the kayak over the tube is you don't wreck your rectum when you hit those rocks. We just went through that. looking forward to our sandwiches. And so I already want to stop to eat and Cole wants to find a good little shaded area. So he's way out there. He's working. Where is my husband? He is so far away. Cole, where are you at? He's hiding. He thinks I don't see him. <laughs> right behind me. He thinks I don't see him. <laughs> what do we got on the menu? Okay, first bite, what do you think? I like mine. With layers and tomatoes. And we also got watermelon. I'm gonna crash! Ah! Ah! Stopped at this little sand bank area. It's so nice. It's just all sand down. I don't float very good. <laughs> <laughs> and the water is really nice. It's probably mid 70s, maybe lower 70s. I'd say it's about 70. It's like 70 degrees, but it feels so it feels good. good. Got a nice flow, nice and clean too. Yeah. Not like typical Iowa River water. Yeah, this is nice and clean. It's not muddy. No, it's because it's sand, I, can I actually think. actually almost see my feet when I look down, which normally you can't see your hand if it's six inches below water. It's so true. <laughs> okay, you beat me, you beat me. We probably swam for a good, what, half hour? And it was actually a lot of fun. I'm getting my vitamin D right now. <laughs> The real reason he's out, he's cold. Oh, well, we have a problem. What? I don't think I want to get out. <laughs> <laughs> you got it? We just got back from the river. I had to take a shower because I was all sunned out. I don't know how to explain that to you, but I needed a shower, even though we're about to leave to go hiking, but I asked for a 10 minute power nap. So I'm a bit in the loft and cold is down there below me. Right. He's practicing his Spanish and taking care of a few business calls. We just got to our next little location. It's, oh look, right there, Trailhead. Hey guys, how's it going today? Oh. Good. You like some information about where you're at? Yes. Sure. Here in the park, you're going to find Native American burial mounds uh, built by the people who lived here at the time. So here in the park, you'll find mounds that are over 2,000 years old. What's really unique about this park and this region more broadly are effigy mounds. And an effigy mound is just a mound in the shape of or the representation of something else. So here in the park, you're going to find mounds in the shape of bears and birds. But that's not an exhaustive list. So at home, we live pretty close to some Native American grounds. And so like my one friend, his grandpa has ground right along the river and oh, saw that one. Yeah. he'll go down after he works the ground up and it, it rains and then there's the arrow heads all over. It always amazes me how they get him to stay that still for so long because every four hours they swap in for another one so this one can go rest. They got this little display of the different berries and like the functions of them and it's just so interesting to me. Look, unripe grapes were used for treating sore throats. We've hiked barely anything and I'm already out of breath. This is insane. This is really pretty through here. Yeah, big old hill over here Your too. trails are very well maintained. Yes. Well We've got about a mile walk to these effigy mounds. Let's take breaks where we can. As in, let me take a break where I can. We just walked up to the first one. It appears to be a cylindrical shaped mound. We're not sure if this is an 
arm of something. There are more up here, so we will find out more as we walk along. Dave is hiding in the chair right there. Here we go. We're coming up on what appears to be the bear. That's the head. It's the front leg, and then the spot is the belly, and that's the back leg right there. This is Little Bear Mound. I wonder how they knew that that part was a burial mound, but not this little front hump. And this is the largest remaining effigy in Iowa. This one is opposite of the other one. This is back leg, and we got the stomach in the middle, arm coming down, and the head is over there. So this shows the right side of the bear. You're getting a little sweaty. <laughs> and you're not? No. I know. <laughs> I know. Why aren't you sweaty? You're in long sleeves. Wow. Wow. I wonder if this was the first one that they made or the last one that they made. Because, oh my goodness, this would have been the spot. Imagine a picnic out here. Welcome to Iowa. <laughs> this is the Mississippi River. Look at all the different islands. I didn't know they had a bunch of islands out here. Did you? Yes. You didn't know? What are they called? Islands. You're not like called the Thousand Islands. Actually, yes, that's 999 Island, and then the one down there is Thousand Island. Behind the trees, getting ready to come out, I believe is a dredge barge. Looks like it's full of sand, so when they need to scoop out the bottom of the river in areas to make it deeper in order for the barges to get through, which there's a bunch of barges sitting right up there, I think based off the fact that there's a bunch of sand on this barge. They probably put it on that and they're gonna translocate it to another area. Now we're over here, we're kinda of just enjoying this fire. We're getting our hobo dinners cooked on it. And they're cooking. What movie are we gonna watch? I don't know, we should do a mystery. What happened to Pablo's family? That's a good question, what happened to Pablo's family? I'm telling you, Pablo <laughs> killed his entire group. I hope It's not. just him, he's a feisty duck. Oh, don't worry, Nava, I'll tell what a hobo dinner is. Okay, <laughs> hobo dinner is, you get some tin foil. You get ground beef, you literally throw whatever you want inside the ground beef. We like to put onions, green beans, corn, carrots, hash browns, mix everything together. Then we wrap it up, throw it on the fire for about 10 minutes to side. Pretty good, it's pretty quick, it's pretty easy. You will poke a hole in the tin foil though if you're not careful. And if you don't get things mixed together right, you'll have spots that are burned. Oh, wait a second. What? Pablo is a friend. Who? Pablo, you dirty dog. Is it a duck? It might be a little goose. It's some sort of long-necked bird. You think they're gonna fight? I don't know. They're like 20 feet from each other. Do you like my duck? You see it? It's a duck. Let me move its head over here. Okay. This is a scary looking duck. <laughs> good morning. A day and a half. I'm a grease ball. <laughs> you look good for not showering it for a day and a half. I I'm look crazy. I'm re-moisturizing my skin. <laughs> it's a strategic move. It's a natural move. A strategic lazy move of not wanting to get in the shower and this is the byproduct. We're having our breakfast this morning. We're having, what are we having? We're having bacon, eggs, strawberries, and a hash brown and orange juice. And then we are gonna get ready and we have to go to our first excursion today at 11. So we're looking forward to it. It's a good morning. We woke up with lots of smiles and happiness. Three o'clock in the morning, there must have been a bird on the air conditioner right <laughs> beside my head. Yeah. That thing goes, <laughs> and I sit up and I'm like, what? We, we both did. We were like, what is going on? What is that? And then I fell right back to sleep. Yeah, we passed out. Just made it to the boat. This looks like it's going to be a lot of fun. Look at this. The sun today is blazing. Blazing. Easiest check in ever. It was super simple. That you get when you check in online. Is this gonna be shut or is that gonna be open? Oh, it'll definitely be open. I know we just had breakfast like what 20 minutes ago? Mmm, it's longer than that. Okay, it's been a little longer, but I feel like we just ate breakfast and I'm already hungry. Thankfully, I had full pack of snacks. I'm gonna sit on it. I'm sit on my snack, I need that. Got this fruit grain bar. Years ago, a steam-driven paddleweather pulled into the port of McGregor and a group of performers got off the boat and put on a performance. Some young guys took that in. They said, you know, we could do that. Round up some friends and family. They started putting on little performances there at that city park right there. Once in a while, they would even receive a video. 
course, those were the Ringling brothers. Four of the family was born here. Is that great grandfather? That's your great grandfather? <laughs> That is the fastest animal on planet Earth, right there. 240 miles an hour they've been clocked at. Wow. Well, there's a tundra at? swan. Oh, it's August. It we should not have a tundra swan. Oh, yeah. yeah that is a swan. The one, the one sitting down. Yeah. The one sitting down is a swan. That bird should be in the tundra. The black beak. It should be in, you know, Northwest Territories, Alaska. <laughs> no different than a tractor, Neva. <laughs> Oh boy, more food. I have brats, some hot dogs. I got a little bit of onion and mustard on mine. We're using that as leftover on the brats. Oh yeah. We got the corn that you froze. Sweet corn. Not worth a day's worth of work, by the way. Yes, it is worth it. <laughs> and then watermelon. And you forgot the green beans that oh, we yes, already ate <laughs> from the garden. That was a good meal. That boat ride we were on, it was very interesting. We learned a lot of things on it. I'm a history guy, so it's incredibly interesting when we're going on the boat. We were at places where literally the people who discovered new areas of the country came and that's just really cool. Like the place we were was where like the Ringling Brothers got started. We were at the place where Mark Twain got his name. We were at the place where we learned that Henry Ford did not start the assembly line. He just copied it. He copied it from, what was it? Something Button Company. But then the place where Julius and Marquette came down the Wisconsin River, they ended up leaving New York after a Native American told them out west is the river of rivers. If you keep following these and you go this way for several days and you will eventually run into this river. And so right where we were, it's when they came off of the Wisconsin River into the Mississippi. And then that's where they would have first discovered the Great River. This is apparently our routine for this vacation. We go on an excursion, we come home, we eat, <laughs> we take a nap. <laughs> we just need a little power nap. For me, it's the heat. For Cole, it's the food coma. <laughs> we'll be going to Pikes Peak here in a little bit. There is so many. No, there's nobody here. Um, it's just us. This is the first time I've ever been to a state park where there is nobody. There's no one. I'm learning about the Mississippi River and the watersheds. We are here and the whole park is right there. We got a lot to hike. We just started our hike and I already think this looks so beautiful. This is much more open than what we were in yesterday. There's not nearly the vegetation on the ground. Mm -hmm. We can just see everything. If you were morel mushroom hunting, this would be a nice spot because you're not battling the vegetation. We just have a extremely thick canopy. So this is just like in science class when we're a little learning about the rainforest, the Amazon rainforest. We have the canopy up top with all the big trees, and then there's not a lot of growth below. And so everything down here is just really competing and fighting. So what we see growing are the plants that do not need a lot of sunlight in order to thrive, such as a, a fern, which is the majority of what we're seeing. Well, it's not just the corn star, guys. He's a knowledge star. Straight ahead, that's the mom deer. She knows we're getting close to her baby. There's, we're on this trail, and there's a baby deer right there, just lying next to the log. As we're sitting here staring and admiring it, oh, it's so little. We hear crunching behind us. I think the mom's over there somewhere. You can see the mom down there. Her tail's flapping right now, so she's got her guard up. Oh, no. So you can tell with the deer when they start flapping their tail, they're kind of alert. And when they poke their tail up, and they're spooked, and if you really spook them, they'll let out a grunt. Okay. And then they'll go running off with that one right now. I'm going to go back to the van and get my bow. No, you're not. <laughs> we're going to keep going. I'm the designated water holder. We're on what's called the Bridevale Trail, so we're going to the Bridevale Waterfall. Oh, dude, we're already at the waterfall. Come on, let's go. Let's get some water on us. Woo! Spider web. Let's just take a shower. <laughs> Last time we were here, there was a lot of people, and now there's no one here. No one. We should have brought our shampoo. Nice view of the Mississippi right there. 
There it is. Bradville Falls. A little dry right now. That rock layer is called the Platteville Rock. I believe the visitor sign said the top is loess, which is like the blown in soil that makes Iowa soil so rich. And then that's what's underneath. Careful, Neva. Is the temperature cool under there? Neva does not like dirt on her face at all. I think she's kind of forgetting that that deer and those two turkeys probably just took a dump and peed in that water that is literally falling on her right now. We're not gonna say anything. Kind of interesting, we basically have a stalagmite forming right there. All that water dumping mineral deposits started to create a little bit of a mound and it's been building itself up. So like Neva's standing on the crest of that mound, otherwise it would just be a nice smooth face going down. Iowa so far is looking a lot prettier. Look at those beautiful hills and then Wisconsin's over there. What happened to my burger? What do you mean? Did you sit on it? <laughs> I just squished this one down. You have to squish this one down. I don't want to sat on burgers. <laughs> one is upside down. Yeah, you got is it. This a new recipe? Upside down burger? I didn't realize I put it on the bottom one until I looked at this and I was like, oh, that's the top. And so I was like, well, I'm not flipping it. So I can just do it on top. If you can figure something out to get that flipped over. <laughs> Genius! That's so unsatisfying. No, 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 no. You gave me a backwards bond, so you should have to deal with it. <laughs> All right, let's pray. Let's pray. Good morning. I just woke up. Cole is currently in the shower. We have to get ready. We have to get things kind of packed up, kind of cleaned up here. I pretty much cleaned everything up last night. We just have a few things that we need to get packed up, get ready for this last excursion of our trip. We're going to go horseback riding. Um, this is something I've been wanting to do with Cole for a long, long time, so it's nice that we're finally going to get to do this. Well, this is it. This is our last trip. We finished cleaning things up, finished a shower, we got ready to eat my bar, give me some energy for this horse ride. We were almost the first people to drive on this new part of the highway. They've been having this construction work here this whole time. They broke ground and filled the ground. And the they broke it up, they put new concrete in, and now they're sweeping it off and taking their cones. So if we came in like 20 more minutes. We could have used it. Yep. We just pulled up to this place and we're gonna get on these horses. Let's go. We weren't allowed to take our phones on this thing um, for safety reasons and also because they just don't want you to lose your phone out there because they don't no, want to go no, back. No, they to wanted look for to take it. us out in the woods and <laughs> kill us. But I told them before I went, no, we're not doing that. <laughs> He really and so did. the lady said, okay, fine. He's like, okay, we want to do that. A nice trail. Yeah, and it was actually really nice. We went through some fields, some valleys. We went through the forest and we were going up and down. And now we're pulling away. Going home. Going home. Goodbye, horses. Adios, caballos. I bet you could tell the moments I was not enjoying that. Oh, the spiders? Yeah. Oh my gosh, there's some You'd be going big through the spiders. woods and the neighbor would be like, <laughs> Yeah, because they're huge. Did you see them? Oh, the I saw spider a webs. Oh, I was like, I do not like this part. Nice thing is that our tour guide was in the very front, so she took on all the spiders and the spider webs. But I got a little bit of the leftovers there, and was definitely checking myself out every few seconds to make sure there's enough spider crawling on me. I don't like those things. I don't like them at all. And that's that's over there where we went riding. We rode all around that area, and you could see you could see Iowa from there. Imagine living up here. It'd be pretty cool to be the only one up on this road. I wonder if their house is back there. Well, would you look at this? We're on our way back to our little place, and we thought we weren't going to be able to use this new side of the road that they just made. Now they're going to work on this side of the road, so we get to travel down the new spot. Just got this place cleaned up, taking the last bit of trash out. You ready to go home, babe? Yes, I am. Alrighty. Mom knows. Goodbye, little paradise. We had fun. I didn't catch a trout, though. No, you didn't. See you later, Pablo. This was a good trip. And now, you know what I'm looking forward to the most? What? Edward. And I look forward to seeing our son.